Hey guys, happy Friday. Hope everybody's doing well out there. For the last year or so, just a little over a year now, we've been talking about how to do things like use stacks or Docker Compose files to deploy containers on Docker. So while it's great that we can deploy containers using stacks, there's one downfall in my opinion uh, about stacks that we've never covered before. And that is once you've got a container deployed, if you do something like say in portainer to modify that container, it doesn't then recursively modify the stack. So what I wanna show you in this video, so what I wanna show in this video is actually how to export your current containers as stacks with all of their current and or modified settings uh, from the original stack. So let's jump over to my desktop and see if I can make some more sense out of what I just said there. Okay, so here we are on my desktop. Uh, we can see that I'm I'm on uh, my Synology system. Uh, that's the Jarvis up here. Uh, and of course, we've got a bunch of uh, containers up and running. Uh, some of these I've made changes to, some of them I haven't. Uh, what's great about what I'm gonna show you is it doesn't really matter uh, if you've made changes or not. Uh, maybe you've deployed this uh, using command line and now you want a stack out of it. Uh, you can do that here as well. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to open up uh, our PuTTY uh, or SSH program. I like PuTTY. I know you guys are gonna tell me in the comments that Windows has that built into the command prompt. And I know, I promise I know, but I like PuTTY, so I'm gonna keep using it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to Jarvis here. And of course, it's always gonna open up in the wrong window. So I'm gonna uh, log in uh, as, not as root, cause I don't have a root account, like so. And then what we're gonna do is uh, run a little command uh, that we can find right here. I will have this linked in the description because uh, this is pretty neat. So uh, what I'll do, uh, and just for the sake of simplicity here, uh, I've gone ahead and just pasted this into, um, into a notepad here so I can actually go ahead and close this. So what we want to do uh, is actually we're going to run this as sudo. Um, and so basically what it's going to do uh, is just uh, run this via the Docker socket. Uh, it's going to run Docker auto compose. And then uh, these, this, this last little part here, uh, allows us to uh, declare what containers we want to export. Now we can do one container, we can do multiple containers, however you wanna do it, though you've, you've got options. So what we'll do is we'll come back over to here, we're gonna do Docker uh, PS, I'm actually going to, uh, I'm gonna make this a little wider uh, so that everything fits nicely on the screen. Oops, right, sudo. And then I'll log in. All right, so <clears throat> now we've got a couple of options here. Now we can either use the container ID, uh, like it says uh, right here, or we can use the container name. Uh, and if you wanted to do that, uh, of course it's, uh, let's see, is it over here? There it is. Don't know why that's down there. Or we can, so we can either use the container ID uh, that we see over here in this left column, or we can use the container name. Uh, either of those will get us the same end results. So uh, let's let's do this. Um, let's do uh, YouTube DL. So let's minimize this. And we're just going to, we're gonna clear this. We're gonna do YouTube DL like that. And then we're just going to right click. Uh, so now it's saying I can't find uh, that, uh, that auto compose container here. So we're gonna go ahead and download that. And then, hey, look at that right there. Let's go ahead and make this a bit taller. Here we can see uh, we've got a, a version three stack. We're using uh, YouTube download. Uh, we've got some additional capabilities here. Uh, and this is everything that you would normally expect to see. If we come into here, we come into edit, and we come down to capabilities. Uh, all of the things that are checked in blue here uh, should be what's available uh, right here under uh, this cap ad. Uh, they've dropped uh, all of these. So these are things that are turned off or are in, in the white here. So audit control uh, should be right up there in cap drop. Um, and let's see, a block suspend should also be turned off. So if we come over, block suspend is turned off. So that's how we can tell uh, the, the basically the ad is in blue, the drop is in white. Uh, when we come over here to this cap ad uh, section over here, uh, below that, we've got commands that it may need to run. Uh, right there is the, com the, the the command that it would run. We've got a container name. Uh, we've got environmental variables. Below that, we've got, uh, we're exposing port 8080. Uh, under that, we've got a host name. So basically, it, it's, it's declaring everything that it could possibly need 
for this container. Now, if you wanted to copy and paste it or copy this and save it, you absolutely could. You could just highlight this, come all the way up like so, oops, like that. And then come back over to here, uh, come down a couple of lines and paste. And there is our stack uh, that we could then deploy. Now, here's the thing. Uh, the reality is unless a container specifies or unless you know that a container needs certain things, you could then uh, remove, you know, the cap add, cap drop stuff, the command stuff you could remove. So there's going to be, there, there may be some editing that you may want to do to modify that container. So this basically exports all of the settings for a given container uh, so that you can save those somewhere else uh, for deploying somewhere else later if you wanted to do that. So let's do this. So now that, we, now that we've seen how to go ahead and export a single container, uh, let's actually do two containers um, and, and just pull out a really big, long uh, Docker Compose file. So I'm going to do a Control L just to clear my screen there. And then uh, I'm actually going to drop that over there and I'm going to bring this over there. And then I'm going to come back over to my containers. Nope. There we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pick another uh, container here. Let's do, let's try like radar. Uh, so let's, oops, so let's do radar and uh, maybe sonar. There we go. So here we've got, uh, let's see, this is going to be for sonar at the bottom here. Oops. So what we can do is grab this. So right there is the beginning of sonar. Uh, above that, we're going to have radar. So we can come up here come up a little further. There it is. There's our version three. So that's how we know that we're at the top of our, uh, of our new stack here. So I bring this back over, oops, like that, uh, and do that. Uh, right there is the entire configuration for uh, those two containers. If you ever want to deploy those as, as, as a single stack. Okay, guys, so there you go. There's how to deploy either a single container or multiple containers uh, as a stack so that you can redeploy them later on a different server if you wanted to, or just have a good backup of your stacks uh, for future reference if you ever needed to redeploy your server. So again, all of this will be available in the description down below uh, so that you can find out uh, how to do this for yourself. So while you're down there looking for those links, uh, you'll also find a couple of different ways you can support the channel if you want to do that. I'm going to give a big shout out to both my channel members and my patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. But I think with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.